Okay, now, I don't want you to use a calculator on this because one of the more important things in like algebra is to understand how positives and negatives work. It's just a good thing to know because it's like money lost, money gained, and all that. So it is real life somewhat. I don't want you to use a calculator. I want you to use this number line I gave you. Okay, here's a number line. We have zero in the middle. The numbers going this way are my positives. And the numbers going this way are my negatives. And you can keep, the number line keeps going. It goes into like 13, negative 13, negative 14, negative 15, and then 13, 14, 15. I just stopped it at 12 because that's all we're going to need on this assignment. So it says negative 3 minus 6. So my starting number is negative 3. So I go look at where negative 3 is at on the number line. Now, when I minus, I'm going to move this way, okay, for, into the negatives. So I move six slots this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm at negative nine, so equals negative nine. Negative three plus eight, okay, so I'm at negative three here. And this time I'm adding eight. So when I add eight, I'm going to move this way to the positive direction. So negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that takes me to 5. Positive 5, so just put 5. Okay, negative 5 minus 2. So I am at negative 5. That's my starting point, okay? And then I'm subtracting 2. I'm minusing 2, so I go this way, 1, 2. So negative 7. Okay, 7 minus 9, so I start at positive 7, that's my starting point, and if I minus 9, I go 9 to the left, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I'm at negative 2. You'll need a computer today. Okay, 3 minus 8, so I start at positive 3. And I'm minusing, so I need to go towards the negative. So one, eight places. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that takes me to negative five. Negative three plus eight. So negative three. That's my starting point. And I'm adding eight. Okay. So I go this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that equals 5, positive 5. Okay, negative 6 minus 3. Again, here's your starting point, negative 6. And then I go 3 this way because I'm minusing. So 1, 2, 3, and that gives me negative 9. Then negative 7 plus 6, so negative 7. And since I'm plusing 6, I move 6 this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that takes me to negative 1.